last night's success, Linda and Declan have taken the lead. Can tonight's hosts beat the pair, even with apparent bitch Evelyn, out to sabotage them all? The menus are judged. I need to be handwritten. What first note? Handwritten. Handwritten. Starter. Nalum and Mushum. Mushum. I'm not going to pretend I know what that is, but it doesn't sound good. Starter. Nalum and Mushum? Um, yeah, I have no idea what the menu is. Either she's illiterate or I've gone totally insane. Um, because that's burritos spelled backwards and that's melon spelled backwards. But I don't know what mushroom is really. Maybe if we put everything back, mushroom. Oh, mushroom. <laughs> <laughs> Main course, soft tier rub. I hope that comes with a free massage and rub, you know? I think for dessert we have some kind of dynamite. And then dessert is TNT. Yeah, this sounds like it's gonna hurt my mouth. I think she might have got random words and put her them in her menu, Does she know which what is she's a doing? sick, sick thing to do. And it's just like I didn't really know how, what to expect from Evan and John's meal. I have no idea what to make of this. Um, it's not very descript. What's going on? The guests seem a bit worried about the meal as they inspect Maeve's home. Ooh, look at her colour of the walls. Oh. Reminds me of things that are that colour. She's quite oh. a minimalist, either that or she's Oh, I love those posters of my room. I still looked the other night. Do Because <laughs> all you need is do rad. Yeah. Oh, look, Evelyn, there's you. Oh, look. You and me, in here. <laughs> when did you guys get together? I have no We've got beer with us. Oh, um, was that last night after? <laughs> I don't recall such an event. I'm sure I wasn't wearing those clothes, I don't think. <laughs> this looks like it should be in a catalogue for Ireland. <laughs> 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 it does, wow. Oh, oh look at this lovely mm. shower. Oh, oh it, it smells, smells so nice. It yeah. interesting. Check up in here. Oh, it's <laughs> <laughs> completely empty. Oh, did she do this on purpose? No, apparently this is messy. Guests hope Maeve's table will be just as messy as they head for their mushroom starter. Wow, that looks great. Are you also making some chicken? Forever. Give me the red. An there. anagram. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Oh, yeah, yeah. Wow. I didn't know how to do that, so I was like. Oh, no, did the camera catch that? Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> I can mess myself. This is beautiful. Uh, uh, yeah. Did you make it? Yeah. Wow, wow. I'm so serious. Oh, I made the bread as well. Yeah, you did. <laughs> 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 yeah, right. My me and my granny used to make brown bread when I was little. Mm, I see. And it used to take ages, like the whole way. Yeah. Can I pass this along? Are you done? Yeah, go for it. Pretty good. Okay, who should I pour first? Oh, be a man. <laughs> <laughs> Am I meant to twist it? Yeah. Oh, I totally got what you mean. I see you've done this before, Leah. What do you think of first? What what do you what did you think of the starter? They have to have this like document with all the script written out. Well it's like No no, what did you think about that? No. What was that? I'm like the devil wears Prada. Oh, I'm gonna pretend I've never seen that before. Guests are allowed to make their burritos another DIY meal. Even with vegetarian mince, someone doesn't look pleased. Everyone was like, oh, we have to make our own food. So then I was like, oh, I'm going to spend it. Everyone wants me to record.
Guests wait over an hour for the trifle dessert, but disaster strikes as they're filled with non-vegetarian gelatin. <laughs> I'm actually so sorry, I have no idea. It's fine, it wasn't your fault. My granny was just like, make trifle because it's like the one thing she makes, so then I was like, okay, trifle. Latecomer Declan gets to sample all three courses. <laughs> okay. So, first of all, I had the melon, and that was pretty. It was pretty nice. You're saying this in front of me. <laughs> so anyway, I thought it was an absolutely excellent starter and main course. Ooh, a positive word from Evelyn. And I really liked the starter because you made her own hummus, and I really liked the table setting and her hosting, and I really liked the burritos. Catherine. Wake up. Use that your full of energy. So? I was thinking, you know, this night is looking at like a 10 to me. People couldn't eat it because there was gelatin in it and then I ate mine, but, you know, I kind of I didn't really like it that much. I love Maggie Woodley. But, no, it was a good night. Um, I'm just really, really tired now. And I kind of just want to go home. Which you probably should feel at the end of a dinner party. Someone's hangover has started early and I would have been giving it a very, very high score, but then came dessert. Well, that lasted less than a second. We had to wait a very, very long time for it. And then the mistake that came next of me and Linda not being able to eat it, that wouldn't have been so bad if we hadn't had to wait so long for it. Mm. So that brought down the score a lot. And we kind of waited about two hours. Yeah. Overall, we decided to give it a five. Seven. <laughs> Probably gonna give it a seven because the food was really good. Seeing as I gave Evelyn a six, I'm probably gonna have to give May Woodley a four. Ooh, low blow from the professional singer. Um, and then she's a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Not actually. So. Lack of attention to detail gives Maeve an embarrassing 23 out of 40. See you next time on Come Dine With Me!